Hello everyone, the Claws here, and today guys I'm going to review a Mega Bloks Dragon's Universe set released in 2011 as part of the Spring Wave of, of this year, and it's going to be Gold Wedge, one of the mid-sized dragon and also a Toys R Us exclusive set. So as you can see the box is the same one as the previous mid-sized dragons with the logo right there, uh, some information down there, the QR code that can be scanned with your smartphone to have more information about the dragon itself, and also the fact that you're going to have a bonus CD worm inside. Uh, then you have a CGI model of the dragon right there on this side, and on the other side you have of course the egg which pops out of the packaging. On this side, some explanation about the QR code, and also another shot of the dragon's head, which uh, looks quite menacing and firing some lasers. On the other side, a close-up shot of the weapons of the dragon, and also uh, the Predavors logo, and as you can see, unlike the other Predavors dragon, which uh, have a yellow background on their logo, this time it's red, simply because Gold Wedge uh, does not belong to the Iron side, but also it does not belong to the belong yes belong to me to the Predavors side. So in fact, he's all by himself and well, he's uh, he's neutral if I can say so. On the back, you have another CGI model uh, picture of the of the set, which uh, where, you, where you can look the set in a more glorious way. The other information is put once again on the back, and also some other sets from this wave. So the four other mid-sized dragons and also. Uh, one mid-sized spaceship. Then you have the instructions, which are really straightforward because, well, you build the set in like five steps, but once again, it's just an action figure, so really nothing more to, to build, as you can see. You also have the parts list. If you want to order a uh, damaged or forgotten parts in your set, you can for free on the Megablox customer service website. On the other side, you have a poster which shows you all the dragons and soldiers from well, the Alliance and the Predavors sides released uh, in 2010 and in the first wave of 2011. But as you can see, uh, there is no Gold Wedge because Gold Wedge is a special edition set, so of course it does not appear, it does not actually appear on this poster. And the same can be said for the two uh, first with troop packs of the Alliance, which uh, are not shown on the Alliance side. But apart from that, it's a great little poster with some nice pictures of uh, dragons and uh, all the guys from the different sides. Then you have the bonus CD one, which is the same as the one released in 2010. This means you will have uh, access to an exclusive uh, level of the uh, Dragon's Universe Shoot Them Up web game, and also you will have access to the VIP section of the website, uh, which features concept arts, uh, 3D models, and also um, some making of of the Dragon's Universe ads. So uh, nice features for Dragon's Universe fans. Personally, I know that I was quite pleased with uh, this, uh, the concept art and stuff like that. Then the first part of the set is the egg, which is just here to well to look good because you can't really use it to store the dragon's part because the dragon's, pa the dragon's parts are too big to fit in the egg. So well, what you have is a recolor of the old dragon's dragon egg mold in gold, as you can see. There is no real paint effect right there, or injected color. It's all gold, and it looks really nice. Of course, it can be opened in half, excuse me, and it does not feature any points of connection, as you can see. Uh, there is no studs at all in this egg, but still, it, look, it looks really great in uh, all in gold, and of course it's a really cool color in my opinion. Like that, so yeah. Great egg. And now it's time to talk about uh, the dragon itself, so Gold Wedge. And once again, it's a weak color, so if you know a Claw Reaper, one of the four 2010 mid-sized dragon. Well, you already know Gold Wedge because Gold Wedge is a gold recolor, obviously, of uh, of Claw Reaper, Claw Reaper, uh, which was a uh, brown dragon, if I can say so, brown reddish dragon, uh, released in 2010. So this means that, of course, it's the same body as all the other dragons released between 2010 and the first wave of 2011, with the uh, transferred power cores right there. Uh, of course, the back. Uh, the rear legs, which are mounted on big rotation points, the front legs, the tail, as you can see, and of course the head, which is the Claw Reaper's one, but we color red in uh, gold, and also, as you can see, there is also some black colors 
injected in there, which looks really good in my opinion. Uh, it's really looking great. Of course, some red for the eyes, some white for the teeth, and the tongue is not even painted in red, which is a little uh, drawback in my opinion. It's a kind of lack of, lacks of details. So here we go. Of course, we'll have the two wings, which are once again, which once again comes from Chloe Per. Mines were perfectly molded, so they are, they are not bended or anything. It looks uh, quite nice. Once again, with some nice injected black color and some black stripes, which really adds to the overall color shell. So I'm going to do a little turnaround first of the dragon without, without its, weapon, its weapons, excuse me, because some people uh, do not really like the weapons in the Dragon's Universe theme. And well, for the weapons themselves, uh, it's a little nice uh, because it's a mix between the 2010 weapons and the Dragon Riders type of weapons. This means that we're going to have this part which is useful to move up and down the gun, then this part with like six points of connection. So, of course, on the upper one, we're going to need this gun which can be which can fire some missile, like that, for example, as you can see. And on the side, of course, we're going to put some pins which can be put off, and we're going to put this type of weapons which were directly t uh, taken uh, from the dragons, the dragons with dragon riders of the first wave of 2011. So it's quite cool, of course, the long lasers that you have to put by yourself are really looking uh, nice, in my opinion. Yeah, more like that. And here we go, so it's a nice mix between the two types of weapons. Uh, it's really cool. It's not like the first dragon which uh, got either a big machine gun or big lasers here. It's a little uh, thinner weapon and uh, I think it's, uh, it looks uh, better, in my opinion. And then we just have to put the weapon on the uh, all on the back. Once again, a little turnaround just for your eyes, guys, but this time with the weapon mounted on his back. And well, now let's talk about the articulation. So first we have the wheel legs, which can be moved uh, well on the uh, well. <laughs> uh, back and forth, not just this, the same for the uh, front leg. The only little different thing is that the uh, left front leg features a point of connection which is useful if you want to uh, put an alliance so soldier in his clothes. So for example, as you can see, if I take an alliance soldier, I have a little hole on the back which is quite useful to, uh, to put in this little uh, attach point. So nice, uh, nice thing. Then you have the wings which can be moved once again back and forth, but also up and down. Uh, then you have the gun, which also can be turned on the side and up and down. Of course, it can be fired by just pressing the button, It works pretty uh, in a nice way. And finally, you have the head, which is mounted on a ball joint. This means it can be moved on the side nicely. Nice range of movement, of course, like that. And also up, not that much and down. And of course, it can be opened like that. So nice range of movement of articulations for the head, in my opinion. And then well, it's time to do a little sum up about this set, guys, I think. So here we go. So first, the color shame for me, it's a great color shame. So see the gold and black are only uh, two colors which mix uh, great together. And here it's once again a success. Plus also, I have to notice that the gold is not really a shiny gold. It's a, li well, it's a little less shiny what you can expect, but I think it looks better that way. So yes, uh, black color, gold color really nice and uh, looks, well, looks really good in my opinion. Then you have, uh, the only problem might be the fact that the tongue is not painted in white, but apart from that, it's, uh, it's white. Then you have the uh, parts selection. So, well, obviously it's Chloe Pearl, but in gold and black. So, well, the, you can't really use in other sets this type of parts. But what is interesting is the guns part, because this is the first time that we have this part in silver, and also the big long lasers in red. So, uh, these two parts are really cool, in my opinion. Uh, for mocks and they're really nice three colors because we just had this part uh, before in uh, dark gray for the gun 
and uh, light trans light blue for the or just transparent blue for the uh, laser so it's quite a uh, it's nice three colors then you have the uh, building or construction which is like i said pretty, pretty straightforward it's an action figure so really, uh, no comments to make on this point then you have the articulation so yes the legs are really uh, bad because uh, you can just move them in two directions, so it's really poor, but all the other parts, in my opinion, uh, move pretty well with a nice range of movement. For example, uh, the guns do not really block the wings, in the same can be said for the wings, which do not really block the guns. They are really uh, well spaced together, in my opinion. Also, you have uh, the head, which can be really moved down or up or on the sides without any problems. And finally, you have the little parts here to uh, to put on alien soldiers. So overall, the legs uh, just suck, in my opinion, in terms of articulation. It's really poor uh, for a 2011 action figure, even if the mold was from 2010, but even in 2010, it was already uh, poor, in my opinion. But the other parts, like the guns, wings, and heads, uh, can be moved in a nice way. And finally, you, got, you have the overall design. So, like I said, of course, it's Claw Reaper in a new colors, but still, I think it looks really great. Uh, the gold colors look nice. I like the shape of the gun, which is, a, like, like I said, a mix between the two types of uh, old, uh, old mounted guns. So, uh, seriously, Gold Wedge is a great set, in my opinion. Uh, even if it's a Toys R Us exclusive set, it really looks good. And that's really one of my uh, best, one of my uh, favorite uh, mid sized dragons from the two first wave of, uh, first wave, excuse me, of the Dragon's Universe, I think, along with Tide Spike. Uh, flame Drake and the Trans Orange Dragon from the first wave. And as I said, there's two little things to notice before I end this review is that first, I did, do, I did not mention that in the color shame, but as you can see, these uh, spikes are colored in gold and these ones are colored in black, so it's little details, but that's a little well, in my opinion. Also, the plastics doesn't really smell good, so <laughs> if you want to smell your set, which is quite weird, uh, well, you will see that it's uh, it's quite uh, it's a little stinky in my opinion. But well, uh, just uh, don't open it uh, in the in the car when you when you <laughs> go home from the uh, toy store because uh, you will be suffocating for some time, I think. So apart from those two problems, a great set, nice design overall. So yes, Gold Wedge is really a good mid-sized dragon and really an, an excellent uh, recolor in my opinion. Even if of course it's not really a super original set, but at least it looks good. And that's already one thing uh, done. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them. I will happily answer them. Uh, and that said, well, uh, have a nice day, guys. Uh, thank you for watching and see you later for another video review. Bye-bye.